Hey everyone, so this is just going to be a quick video showing you how to set up a directional light with the sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and the whole point is just to show you how to set up like a simple day-night cycle like this. I'm not going to show you the actual blueprint for day-night cycle. You can watch another video I have that do that. This just kind of shows you how to set up very simple lighting within like five minutes, right? It doesn't look amazing, but it looks decent. Decent enough for you to make your games look okay. You can always come into your post-process volume here, turn down some saturation or something. The point is just to show you how to set up the lighting initially, and then from there you can start editing it, making it look better. These fog planes are not included in the tutorial, that's just there for effect. I'll turn them off so you can kind of see. So this is like what your game would look like at night. So again, you can like adjust values, but we'll get into that in the video. It'll only take about five minutes, so let's jump into it. Okay, so you can do this setup in just like a basic level just to see how it works. You don't have to have like a full-on landscape or anything. This is just a landscape from like a, an old video I did a while back. I'm just going to redo the lighting on it using the new uh, Sky Atmosphere system. Show you how it works for like a day-night system if you want to implement that. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a directional light first. I'm going to type in Atmosphere, you get Sky Atmosphere, add that in. And then you type in sky, you get skylight, add that in. Okay, so we have our three objects here. First thing I'm going to do is with the directional light, set it to movable. Scroll all the way down. You get atmosphere sunlight. So that hooks up the sun to work with the sky. So now if I rotate it, it starts moving around. And you can see the colors are going to update. So I'm going to put it about right here. I think this is where I want it. Now with the skylight here also set it to movable and then real-time capture this needs to be checked okay so you can see just like that with those settings the lighting is not bad at all so with the sun here i'm going to turn on distance field shadows so if you don't have this enabled you have to go to project settings and then go to rendering and then it's right here generate mesh distance field so turn that on you have to restart and recompile so just pause the video while you do that. And then when you come back, you should have distance field shadows. But you might notice another issue here where as you get closer, the lighting kind of, the shadows kind of update like that. This is actually normal for Unreal Engine, it does this. You might have noticed if you've like played Fortnite and stuff, you can see Fortnite updating here depending on your settings. So one way to fix it, if you want to call it a fix, is I know Fortnite uses like a dynamic shadow distance of just 4,500, something really low. But then you have this issue where you're starting to update really close like this. So you're just going to have to gauge your performance, what you want to do. It's better performance to have a less shadow distance here. Now if you want, you could set this to like 50,000 and then that'll really update like that. You're just going to have to check your performance. Make sure your FPS is decent if you're going to do that. Okay, so ignore my bad FPS. It's just because I have a couple projects open and I have a ton of grass. That's why my FPS is really bad when I just sit here. Okay, so this is where we're at right now. Now this is way too bright. The intensity of 10 is way too much. I like to control the intensity through a post-process volume actually, through the exposure. So I'm gonna set this to one, really low. And now let's add a post-process and let's set it to be unbound. And then with the minimum and the max here, let's try like 0.4, one, and then now we need some fog, so we can add in our exponential height fog. This actually helps brighten up the scene. I'll move that into the lighting folder. This is actually how you get the nighttime effect with the exponential height fog. So if I take the directional light, let's say it's now nighttime. So right now it's nighttime, but obviously the fog isn't working. So you have to take the fog here to set the color to black. And then the and scattering color also has to go to black. Let me disable my fog planes here so you can see it's way too dark now. You can bring the sun back up, it starts to work, but then you get to about here, it's too dark. So now we can kind of play with these numbers a bit. So maybe something like that, that might be too bright. This color here, let's bring it up a little bit. Now the skylight here, this is where you might want to adjust the intensity. So let's say it's nighttime, maybe like a two or a three. It's a little bit brighter. And the shaders on this grass here is just not set up correctly. <laughs> Ignore that. 
the grass here they are set up correctly but yeah so these values that you come up with these are the values that you would be adjusting on your day night cycle blueprint like say it's now nighttime you would change the intensity scale to be like a three or whatever or you can use curves and have the curves update the intensity every like 10 seconds or something but right out of the box you can get decent lighting for day night system and that's really what i wanted to show with this video we'll have the sun wrap all the way around you can see it's still pretty bright like this is like at noon right it's way up at the top this is noon it only has an, an intensity of one you can see how bright it is fog kind of gets canceled out when it's this bright Maybe you want to change the fog density in your cycle blueprint. Now in 4.26, you can add what's called volumetric cloud. That gives you this. This is what it looks like by default. If you want it to look better, you're going to have to add your own material here, find a better one. You can see when I have it enabled, it's actually brighter. Disable it, gets a little less bright. So now by adding this, there's just some more things we're going to have to adjust here. So maybe like 0.4 is too much on the post process. Maybe like 0 0.6, 0 0.5 maybe. So try to adjust the post process exposure instead of the directional light. Just keep it at one because this gives you kind of like an even balance. This gives you like a balanced light throughout the time of day. So as we go all the way up and then back down, you can see it's kind of, it's balanced. You don't want to be messing with the intensity too often. The only thing I would mess with is at nighttime I would adjust the skylight intensity or maybe even the post process maybe you want to bring this down to like 0.2 it's really up to you so updating the post process might be better for performance be 0.3 maybe this is how you want it at night but all of these actors the height fog the post process the skylight these can all be adjusted in your day night cycle blueprints I have another video where I set up a day night system. So just check that one out and you'll see how you can do it. But I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys how to set up this directional light with the sky atmosphere, give you some decent lighting, like dynamic lighting. So it takes about five minutes to set up, which is really nice, right? Five minutes, you have a nice, decent lighting setup. There are people that get paid full time just to do lighting. Obviously those types of people probably can come up with a way better lighting solution. Honestly, there's not a lot of tutorials on like outdoor, open world, dynamic lighting in Unreal Engine 4. There's just not that many. The ones that do exist, a lot of them are old. So if there's any lighting artists that are watching this, I encourage you guys to make some really cool outdoor dynamic lighting scenes. Show us how it's done. Show us how the professionals are doing it. Give us some Horizon Zero Dawn vibes because that game has some of the best outdoor lighting in my opinion. But yeah, guys, so that's going to do it for the video. Hope this makes your games look a little bit better. And I will catch you next time.